Hi my friends and welcome back to the channel. This is the last episode uh, dealing with the LPV approaches and we want to check if the um, Airbus A320 is capable of flying an LPV approach. I will say that the CEO family of the Airbus is not equipped with the uh, proper instrumentation so I've tried with the 3 uh, 19 and the 321 I, they are not capable of flying this kind of approaches uh, on the contrary the A320 Neo family um, is able to fly those kind of approaches and today we will try um, an LPV approach at Bergamo uh, Orio Serio airport um, to see how the um, avionics uh, uh, is behaving and which are the indication given by the displays when you fly this kind of approach it is this one at uh, Milano Bergamo Oriol Serio uh, RNP Zulu runway 28 uh, you can see here LPV only and as usual you can see a uh, so called pseudo glide slope which is uh, an ILS like glide slope but um, followed by an, uh, a GPS guidance and not by um, a ground station guidance so here you can see we have the minima this is the minima for C category uh, 386 uh, uh, which is very close to the ILS category 1 uh, minima Okay, so this is the approach we will fly. Uh, we will start from uh, in flight uh, uh, and uh, uh, start at uh, Tixum initial uh, approach fix, then Lazav, then uh, Mike Echo 541, uh, which is the point at which the glide slope uh, begins, and then we will land uh, uh, to runway 28 at uh, Orio Serio Bergamo. So in order to have the uh, right approach uh, working uh, we go here to the destination page arrival here we have our approaches so we scroll until we find the uh, Arnav 28 Zulu uh, so you can see LPV LP SLS this is the correct one and this uh, 74136 is the Agnos, Agnos code that you can find in the chart so we select this one uh, no star in this case uh, via Tixum as we saw insert here it is uh, Tixum Lazav Mike Echo 541 uh, Lima 28 right we are at the beginning of the approach at Tixum in a managed descent and selected speed 180 knots and this is Tixum initial uh, initial uh, approach fix here yeah, Tixum then Lazav and then at this point we uh, it is where the uh, glide slope commences uh, yes, uh, having passed uh, Tixum, uh, we can now start the approach, um, the approach mode. And what uh, does the display give? It gives us the LS requirement. So we have to activate the landing system button, uh, like in a normal uh, ILS. You can see here the SLS indications that appears. Um, that means that we are on the LPV approach right we can see the routing on the ND okay this is auto-ortho as usual I'm 
happy with it. Um, okay, has set the minima um, 1200 feet, as you can see here. Category C. Final turn to runway. We are approaching the um, lateral guidance. So we are on course to the runway. So passing the final approach fix, we have the glide slope annunciator. This is the uh, final approach fix at 3500. Time to have the gear down and let's slow to 160. So now we are on the final glide slope to the runway. Let's do the final checks, Two flaps nine. 3. Approach phase already activated. Manage the speed, flaps full. Let's advise the cabin. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. It's always raining and explain. Yeah, joking apart, today is, is a bad, bad weather here at uh, Bergamo. Let's the let's the autopilot do the job until uh, reaching our minima. Twelve hundred feet. So you can see it's like a normal, regular ILS. Just be sure to select the right approach minima. Going manual. Hundred above. Minimum. Continue. A little bit offset. Mm, not bad. Landed safely at Bergamo. We can vacate here on the left. Good. So that's it, this video ends our dealing with the LPV approaches, uh, I hope it was useful to you and uh, if you have questions please let me know in the comments below and uh, see you next time to the next video, bye bye and thank you for watching.